my question for you all, and I had never thought about this until this story, is we always say, what's the right age to talk to your kids about sex? What is the right age to talk to your kids about potentially deadly weapons? And it's not just guns. There are other deadly weapons out there. I don't know that we've had that conversation. I don't know that there's good data on it. In an ideal world, kids are going to grow up without being surrounded by weapons. That's the, the ideal, and I think though... But, it, but weapons are a big problem, and vi violence, oh, violent absolutely. crimes and shootings, I and mean... And kids, that's the second leading cause of death amongst kids and teens under 18 is some form so of gun violence. A, so a, yes, gun education a, is, is critical. These are the kinds of things that going on a school field trip just seems inappropriate. It seems ill thought out. Yes. I think we would all agree that if you have, if you're teaching your child how to use a gun, because you take your child out hunting and that's part of their yes. growth process. It is better to just, instead of just taking them out and handing them a gun, it is better to teach them safety. And, and let this, me say something, Travis, about the parents that sign these parental consent forms. Perhaps they sign them again thinking that the kids were going on a history lesson. I'm not certain that parents knew that their kids were going to end up on Facebook with yeah. photographs handling handguns. Yeah, so I'm parents interested. may not have had complete disclosure before they agreed to this. Well, let me just say this. Where I am more disturbed is that about a third of guns that are kept at home with kids around unlocked and loaded. And that's why I, I am more scared of that than this field trip. I, I really am. A kid coming home and finding a loaded gun unlocked in a cabinet, to me, when you say a smoking gun, that truly is a smoking gun. Look, this particular scenario, in response to the backlash of it, the Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning did release a statement saying, we are currently investigating to determine what children were involved in the field trip and whether it is within DECAL's jurisdiction to take appropriate actions. And clearly this was a private school. Yes, uh, at least some eyes are on the school yeah. now, and I think that's a good thing, because at what the end of the day, it's about the protection and safety of our kids. Our that's field trips were like La Brea tar pits and the planetarium, I mean. <laughs> but wouldn't this discussion- A little discuss safer. Wouldn't this a little discussion- bit, a little bit. Those were real history lessons. Well, yeah. I think so. Well, th th this is, I, I think the one thing we can all agree on here is that no child should lose their lives yes. Yes. in front of a gun.